Novak Djokovic versus Daniel Medvedev is the final of the US Open for the men for 2023. And both have had to fight to get to this stage. Medvedev entered the tournament as a number three seed and will take on Balash in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-1, 6 love. In the second round, he take on O'Connell would run away with it in the fourth. 6-2, 6-2, 6-7, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Baez. And after a close third set, Medvedev would get through in straights. 6-2, 6-2, 7-6. -6. In the fourth round, he'd take on Demonor. And after dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win. Two 6-4, 6-1, 6, 6, 6, 6 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev will take on the number 8 seed, Rublev, which is no problem for Medi, getting through in straights. 6-4, 6, 4, 6, 3, 6 4, to advance to another semi-final at the US Open. In the semi-finals, Medvedev will take on the number 1 seed, Carlos Alcaraz. But this time, Medi figured it out, getting the first two sets... And eventually the fourth, winning 7-6-6-1-3-6-6-3 to advance to the final. Djokovic started the tournament as a number two seed and would take on Muller in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-love, six 6-2, six 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on Marias. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six 6-1, six one, six one. In the third round, he'd take on the 32 seed, Jera, with Djokovic having to come back from two sets of love down, eventually getting through in five. 4-6, four 4-6, six, four six, six one, six one, six three. In the fourth round, he'd take on the qualifier, Goyo. Now after a close second set, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-2, 7-5, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number nine seed, Fritz. And even though Fritz put up a fight in the third, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-1, 6-4, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals again. In the semifinals, Djokovic would take on the unseeded Shelton. And after winning the first two sets, Djokovic would fight in the third to win. 6-3, 6-2, 7-6 -6, to advance to another US Open final. These guys have played 14 times with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 9-5. But Medvedev did win their last match in Dubai back in February. And of course, we can't forget the last time they played at a slam two years ago at this stage of the 2021 US Open. Medvedev is going to win this one. He's going to have to rely on those memories from two years ago. Of course, we know what happened there. It was like a little bit of a different situation too with Djokovic going for history, the calendar slam and all that. But Medvedev needs to get those memories going and remember that he can win against Djokovic in a slam. Also serve well and just rally like he did against Alcaraz so well. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to almost put those memories out of his head that he's lost so many US Open finals. It is his worst slam. If you look at his record, he's won all the other slams pretty well, except for maybe the French Open, but that's Nadal. He has had a lot of random losses, though, at this tournament, including that one two years ago against Medi. So he's going to have to kind of keep that out of his head and just rally with Medvedev and maybe wear him down. What a great final. I guess Alcrest Djokovic was the best final, but this is the second best final we could have asked for. I'm going to go with Djokovic, though, to win in four. I don't know if Medvedev could do what he did two years ago. The situation's a little different. Of course, Djokovic isn't going for history, not the calendar to slam anyway. 24 slams. That's what he's going for. I think he might get it in four, but let me know down in the comments below. Who's winning the US Open?